to another episode of Medieval Dynasty, last day of the season. So we have uh, a couple things that I want to work on today. Um, one of them is basically to get a little deck uh, built for our house. So I wanted to put like a little front porch thing in um, right about here. We're probably going to have to rip out the fence, no doubt. Uh, but I wanted to kind of build something, just a little tiny thing that comes out a little bit and then kind of has a couple steps down. I'm um, not sure how we're going to do that, but I have a feeling we're going to probably need a lot of planks. So I'm going to craft up a bunch of planks right now and then we'll be able to get started with that. Uh, we might probably have to chop down a bunch more too, no doubt. So. Um, probably a lot of work today just to build a small deck. Uh, I, I did test it, not test it, but like play around with uh, building with the planks uh, on my other save and it's pretty expensive. Uh, if you wanted to do a deck with uh, a height of one, it will cost about 10 planks to fill all the planks up. So. Yeah, it gets it gets pretty expensive if you're going that kind of route, but um, I'm sure we can figure out you know less expensive ways of utilizing the planks and stuff like that. Obviously, building an entire walkway is unrealistic in this game, at least with planks. Uh, I mean, it it could be done. It's just it takes a lot of time and stuff to do. So. You have a lot of trees that you have to chop down, and then you have to turn them into planks, and then um, actually laying out the items is pretty much a nightmare when it comes down to this, because you have to like place them manually, and that's pretty hard to uh, do in this game. <laughs> like I wouldn't mind snapping features, that would be really nice for the planks and stuff, but yeah. You get what you got, I guess. Alright, so let's remove these couple fences. Uh, might have to remove those storage things as well and move them somewhere else. Uh, let's see if we can't find a spot for them just for the time being. So we're gonna need some storage. We don't have enough sticks. Alright, so I'm gonna go get some sticks. And then we'll start working on that... Um, that porch. So I'm gonna need that. I'll grab about 50 of them just so we have extra.
All right, status update. So it's a very uneven location. Like if we were looking at it, there's like a divot right there and it's just generally really hard to build right here. Um, I, I'm still trying to work it in, but um, it might take a little bit more time than I was hoping. I was hoping to get a lot of this built, but um, we'll see if we can't work on this a little bit more. Um, I'm just aiming to get some of this like even so we can go ahead and um, get at least a foundation built so we can start working on leveling it up but uh, it's taking a little longer than normal like you have to kind of like play around with it a little bit and trying to keep it even as possible and then there's like other factors like I want it right up against the building as well right but like these gaps are really hard to get exactly and then you pick it up and then it's like it's not the same place it was and this is where the snapping would really be handy because then you wouldn't have like to worry about it colliding with the building and stuff just have to kind of play around with it until it goes down to another level and then you have to kind of like swish it over a little bit like um, with a plank and that, that seems to work a little bit but then you might move some of the parts and stuff so like I just moved a whole bunch of them so you have to like re adjust ever so often but it, if we take our time it should turn out fine though I'm questioning if it's too much of a slant yeah, it might be too much of a slant actually with the um, the three high. We might need to go too high or yeah, I'm not sure. Um, because I don't want to have it too slanted, but I do want a foundation so we have something to work with right so maybe we should try to that might be the prime number Oop. yeah these boards are in the way <laughs> this is basically what I've been doing it's a little bit frustrating but when we get the deck built it'll look really good I think so I'm just trying to keep all this
already then. I got the um, farmlands harvested. Uh, they're ready for plowing and uh, fertilizing. So I got, let's see how much we got. We got about, oh, I don't know how much I got from there actually. Probably about roughly about the same amount, but uh, about 1,000, 1,300 or so. Uh, for the actual rye, so we should get quite a bit of uh, product or seeds from those. Uh, we will need a another hoe, I think, uh, possibly. I'm glad I went mining during the winter, so we can craft one of those up. Uh, we will need some seed bags. Probably just throw all these on us at the moment and. We're going to need to tend to this first, and then we can start focusing on the um, other one. Because food's going to be... Oh, shoot, food, actually, yeah. Um, forgot to put that back into the um, thingamabob. The, uh... Ooh, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to actually have enough fertilizer. I might have some in storage. That's only, we only have like 62, so hopefully we will have enough. Uh, I need to put these back in, and I need to tell our cook to start working on other food alternatives, like cooking up that meat. Uh, just because we're low on the actual um, food, and I want to actually make a profit from the beets and the uh, carrots this season, so... We'll see if we can't get them to uh, work on the, uh, what do you call it, production, we'll cook, we'll cook some meat up, we have like a lot of, um, uh, a lot of raw meat, so we should be able to get quite a bit of cooked meat out of that. Okay, what is the salted, yeah, we'll cook that one up. I'm not sure how much he's going to be able to produce, uh, 16, 20, I'm not sure how much they go through actually, so we'll cook that m amount up and hope for the best. Uh, we do have one cabbage left over though, that can be used later on I guess. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back to farming, I need to, um, check a few places just to make sure we have enough, uh, fertilizer. I thought I had more, but we might have to purchase some if we don't. We have 2,000 or 200. That should be.
Alright, we made quite a bit of a mess. <laughs> um, we'll clean this up uh, probably next episode after we finish working on our deck. Uh, we still have quite a bit of uh, stuff that we need to do. We need to build out up to the here or so. And then I need to start laying it in like that. So we have like roughly a, at least something flat. Like it looks pretty flat like this. So we'll, well, minus that part right there. But uh, we should be able to get quite a bit of it um, built, I think. Uh, it might take a little bit of time to actually get sorted out. But once we got that like a foundation set up, it should be a lot easier to build. Um, yeah, obviously that little divot right there is just going to be a little bit of a problem. But there's not much we can do for it. Uh, I wish there was terrain tools that you could flatten the areas and stuff with. That would really be handy when you're working with this kind of stuff but I don't think the game actually uses voxels so I did get uh, the crop field planted we have flax growing on this side and then cabbage on the other side it's 16 and 16 so we have that 64 um, field finished and over here what we'll be growing is oats so once we get the uh, oats ready for next year uh, then we'll be able to get some animal feed going in now uh, they're processing the rye we have some extra last year's oats so we should be able to start making animal feed pretty soon which means we can start buying geese um that will be at least the spring project but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out